when you first find out you're pregnant, the first thing that you want to do is there's two main things that the first thing you want to do is number one, you want to get on a prenatal pill and um, start taking prenatals and also you want to make an appointment with your OBGYN. You want to make like you want to get into an OBGYN as soon as you find out you're pregnant. Um, that's really, really important so that you can make sure that everything is going okay, that everything is good, and so that you can um, know how to take care of yourself, how to take care of your baby, and it's really helpful, especially if it's your first pregnancy. Like, if you try out an OBGYN, you don't like them, then don't be afraid to explore your options and until you find out some someone or an OBGYN that you really like. So during my, like, my first trimester, I had really bad morning sickness. Morning sickness can last either all day or it can last at any, it can come at any time of the day. It's not just in the morning. Some tips for morning sickness is if you do have morning sickness, because not everybody gets morning sickness, but if you are one of the ones that have morning sickness, some tips are don't overeat. Like if you're eating and you get full but you still have like half a burrito left like say you're eating a burrito then don't feel obligated to eat that whole burrito don't overeat because you will throw up second tip is eat slow like don't gobble down your food all at once eat slow no matter how hungry you are just eat slowly chew your take time to chew your food swallow digest maybe take a sip of your drink and then take another bite and then also if you are too sick to eat, like if you feel like you're going to puke no matter what, don't don't not eat because your baby really needs the nutrition. The first trimester is super important. That's when all the vital insides and organs and stuff like that are all forming. So you want to make sure that you're getting enough nutrition during your first trimester. If you are too sick to eat, then munch on crackers. Eat something light. It don't eat to um, because you feel hungry. Just eat to get something in your stomach. And always drink a lot of water. Some examples of something light is um, I liked toast. Like um, you can have some toast with jelly on it, or um, graham crackers with peanut butter, <laughs> um, saltine crackers. Um, sweet and salty bars or granola bars like just something light that's gonna give you some sort give your baby some sort of nutrition hormones in the first trimester are nothing compared to what they're gonna get you need to learn to control your hormones now and how to deal with your hormones now because they're gonna get so much worse let me tell you your weight in your first trimester it's normal. I hear a lot of girls um, saying, oh my gosh, I went to my baby doctor appointment and they weighed me and I lost a little bit of weight and stuff like that. And it's like, it's it's normal to, lo to lose a little bit of weight in the beginning of your pregnancy, especially if you have morning sickness. Don't worry about it. You will gain it back. And what you really do need to be worrying about is if you lose weight further in your pregnancy, if you're losing weight in your second trimester or something like that. And also, enjoy your first trimester because I'm telling you, I mean, in the beginning of my pregnancy, I always thought, oh, I just want to get bigger already so that I can look pregnant instead of looking fat because in the beginning, you start you start getting a little bit bigger and you're not as, as thin as you were before, but... The thing is, you're noticing it more than other people are going to notice it. To other people, you still look skinny. You still look how you looked before. But to you, you don't. But I'm telling you right now that even now, I'm almost nine months pregnant. I still feel like I don't look pregnant. I still feel like I look fat. For me, I never felt pregnant. I always felt fat. And it could be the same for you. So what I'm saying is enjoy your first trimester because in your first trimester you're still small you're still how you were before you got pregnant so enjoy it okay, for your diet you just want to eat healthy and apparently you're not supposed to eat sushi or processed meats or foods or something like that 
So um, avoid those foods. Some healthy foods that I like are like fresh fruits mixed with yogurt and granola. And then also celery with peanut butter and I also like green beans. Um, you're going to probably notice that you're getting stretch marks. So um, they're going to start off like small, but they get bigger. <laughs> so um, I'm just saying like, if you're gonna get stretch marks, it's in your genes, really, like, um, in your family genes, like, if you're gonna get stretch marks, you're gonna get stretch marks. If your mom got stretch marks, or if your sister got stretch marks, or anything like that, you're probably gonna get stretch marks, too. But you can use cocoa butter and bio oil to help with stretch marks and to reduce the appearance of stretch marks, but nothing you do is gonna make it so you don't get stretch mark morning sickness during your second trimester morning sickness usually um subsides during your second trimester usually if it doesn't all the way go away it usually goes down a lot to where you're not as sick as you were before sometimes you get like you still have really bad morning sickness throughout your whole pregnancy also hormones during your second trimester during your second trimester, your hormones are going to be worse than they were in your first trimester. And um, what you can do for that is just let your family, let your friends and your partner, if you have um, a boyfriend or a husband or whatever, let them know how you're feeling. Just give them a warning because your hormones are going to be pretty bad. So you just want to let them know how you're feeling so they don't take anything too far up the butt. Especially for teenagers since teenagers are already hormonal and then once you get pregnant your hormones on top of that your pregnancy hormones on top of that whew, Your boobs are going to start leaking um, I'm not sure if everybody's boobs start leaking during their second trimester, but during my second trimester That's when I noticed my boobs start leaking and what they're leaking is called colostrum. It's not milk. It's colostrum your boobs are gonna start leaking and um Something that can help with that is getting breast pads. I have breast pads and um, you can just put them in your bra so that your bras don't get wet. So during your second trimester, you're going to start feeling fetal movements, which is your baby moving inside of you. And this should be the first time um, that you feel your baby move. Um, some people feel it during the end of their first trimester, but a lot of the, a lot of the times you're going to feel your baby's movements for the first time. In your second trimester because everybody told me oh the first time you feel your baby it's gonna be flutters but I didn't feel the flutters first I felt them after I felt like these the gas bubble movements it kind of feels like a gas bubble moving in your stomach and then I felt the flutters like butterfly flutters in my stomach and then also there's the flicks and bumps like it feels like somebody's flicking you from the inside out um, from the inside of your stomach during your third trimester, you're going to start having back and belly aches. Um, you could start having this during your second trimester. I did. I started having back and belly aches during my second trimester. But most of the time, you're going to start having really painful back and belly aches during your third tri trimester because your belly is getting way heavier with the baby in there. And walking and standing for too long is going to give you, is going to make your back and your belly ache. So something that can help with this is investing in a belly band. And what a belly band is, is it's like a belt that goes around your belly and it helps support your belly. It kind of lifts up your belly so that um, it's not pulling on your back and on your belly and it's not, and it helps with the pain when you're walking or going out. You're going to experience a lot of fatigue and sometimes this happens, um, because you are low on iron and if you are low on iron, all you really need to do is just eat more foods with iron in them and also, um, you can also take an iron pill and that can also help too with fatigue. And also, take naps when you feel 
like you're tired like don't fight the fatigue because you're not going to be able to take a nap or take a nap whenever you feel like you need to after the baby's born get a body pillow for comfort for comfier sleeping but stay active being active is going to help you fight fatigue and also it's going to help um with your pregnancy body image issues which everybody's going to have pregnancy body image issues you definitely, definitely want to stay hydrated throughout your whole entire pregnancy. Your hormones are going to be raging during your third trimester. They're not going to get any better. They're going to be at their worst point um, during this time of your pregnancy. So try not to take it out on other people. So just try and control it. Don't take it out on your loved ones. Don't take it out on other people. Don't take it out on your animals. So fetal movements. Fetal movements are going to be much stronger during your third trimester and they're going to be painful, more painful. Um, they're not just little bumps and nudges now. They're actually arms and legs and feet and elbows and fists getting caught in your ribs and smashing you in the bladder. And you can actually, I mean, it's a good thing, but then it's also a painful thing. Sorry, I've been looking down a lot. During this video, I have my notes down here, so... Yeah, but then also, um, something I didn't list in my notes that I want to also talk about for your third trimester, Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, you could start getting these during your second tri trimester, but I'm talking about them about in the third trimester because they're going to get more frequent and they're going to get stronger during your third trimester. Your Braxton Hicks contractions are going to be pretty much practice contractions. And the way a contraction feels is when your whole entire stomach, like right now, you can squish it. It's all squishy, even um, not counting the places where Aaliyah is because right now she's right here, so it's really hard right here. But, um, like, you can be able to squish your stomach, and then when you have contractions, it's when your whole entire stomach just tightens up really, really tight, like hard as a rock and when you press down in your stomach it's not going to be squishy anymore it's going to be hard and it's going to be pretty much hard as a rock number one is horseback riding um i know that's kind of shitty jumping on trampolines is a pregnancy no-no and that's something that i didn't even know and hot tubs and saunas not a good idea i mean the inside of your belly is already really hot and and once you get in a um, hot tub or a sauna, it is going to be pretty much like boiling a lobster in a boiling pot of water. You don't want to do that to your baby. It's not a good idea. If there's something else that you're unsure of, because that's just my few things for pregnancy no-nos that I learned through my pregnancy. Um, if there is something that you're unsure of that you do, like if you do like a sport or something, or if there's something that you like to do and you're not sure if it's pregnancy safe, ask your doctor. That's the best advice I can give to you is just ask your doctor if you're unsure if something is safe. And that's it for this video. I hope that this helped you guys. I got a request to do this video. Um, so I hope this helped. Um, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, and request videos, and also go like my Facebook fan page. Bye!